What's going on, everybody? Today, uh, just opened my mailbox, got some vape mail. Figured I'd share that via review with you guys. Uh, Kangaroo came out with some new products. Um, just got a few different ones here. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Baby T3 from Kangaroo. So, the Baby T3, which is what um, they're calling on sunvapors.com. Um, also known as the Mini T3. It is a smaller version of the T3, obviously. It's a bottom coil design. A um, little comparison here between the T3 and the T2. Let's see. Slightly, slightly smaller. See that? The, but the, T, the regular size T3 is a lot bigger than the T2. It's a 3 milliliter capacity. This is only a 2.4, this T2. So, it's definitely smaller, and you can take a look here. I think on this also, they narrowed out the bottom eagle threading cone on the uh, connection point. It is um, eagle threading still, so we still got to have our eagle threaded devices like our eagle C-twist, or use an eagle ad uh, adapter on our mods if we're using them on that. Uh, proprietary mouthpiece doesn't come off, so you can't replace it, which is the one flaw that I don't like about these Kangers, is that I can't replace it with my uh, little stainless steel Kanger drip tip that, uh, that I have. But, nonetheless, um, it's bottom coil design, and same thing as the T3, it's actually the same exact bottom coils from your T3, so if you have some laying around, you could use those in this. It's the same bottom coil with a little... Snubby wicks down there. There you go. Pretty much the same. Only difference is size, really. Um, and now Kanger is finally starting to brand their products. Let's see if I can get you guys to see that little logo here. Oh, it's not going to show up. There it is. It's like a little K right on there for Kanger. And all Kanger products will start having this K on it. So you know it's an authentic Kanger product and you're not getting a knockoff because that's a concern when I'm ordering stuff that I want to make sure. Uh, Sun Vapors also branded this one. Um, let me see if I can find where it's at. It's kind of hard to see on my camera, but it does say Sun Vapors down on the glass. They're the only ones that I found that carry them right now. They're the first to get them. I am going to do another video review on the Kanger Evod. Which is a mini MT, uh, the MT3, I believe it's called. They have the longer ones in the with the stainless steel uh, cover on them. This is called the Evod. It's equivalent to the mini. Um, I'll get into that in another video. I want to actually use this one a little bit before I start talking about it because there are some different things about it. But as far as the mini T3 goes, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. There's not much to talk about. I'll give you a little fill demo, a little vape demo. See how it performs. This is my first uh, shot at it. I've used the regular T3s and I've used the T2s and I love them. Um, minus the dry hits that I sometimes get out of the T3s and the T2s. Um, so to fill it, take off your bottom coil. And we're going to use, let's see, I'm going to try to get rid of some of this Johnson Creek. Wisconsin Frost. And it's a 100% VG mix. So we'll see how this performs with all VG. And just drip it right down in as it's upside down. I believe this holds, I think, 2 mils exactly is what the specifications are. Or actually, I'm sorry, I think it's like 1.6, somewhere around there. I don't know exact specifications. I'll try to look those up and write it down in the comment box below so you guys could see. Okay, put one more dropper here. You don't want to go over that little center hole there. You want to go just up to it. There we go. So right up to that center post. Don't go over that center post. And then pop your top on or bottom on. Screw it on. Finger tight. Flip her over. And you're ready to vape. Simple. Love these. So easy to use. So easy to refill. Um, that's filled pretty much to the top. Um, from what I've heard, you want to give it a couple dry toots, maybe about two, three puffs with no power to them. Uh, 
just to get the wicking action going and then maybe give it one sharp blow and you should be ready to go let's try that and we'll put it on my eagle c twist for now let's put it down to we'll put it to four volts and it looks really nicely on the eagle c twist because the size is shorter just looks nicer i mean Okay, and let's uh let's give it a vape. Vape's good. Excellent throat hit, um, excellent flavor. It's a little bit of a warmer vape than the T3, honestly. That's possibly because the coil is closer to the top, since it's a smaller device. Um, let's show you. Yeah, it's very good throat hit flavor and everything out of that for a clear miser. It's very good. The difference if you had it on, if you had the T2 in size, you can see how much longer this would be. It's noticeable. That's with the T2. Let's put it on my Evic and see how it looks on there. Put it on the Evic. Now let's crank it down. It's a 2.2 ohm head on here, or bottom coil on here. So I'm going to lower that down to 4 also. And that's what we're looking at on the Evic. It looks nice. I mean, I, I'm more of a fan of these shorter devices. The devices are big enough as it is. You don't need a long ass clear miser sticking out of it. Actually, it's getting really good airflow on this. Um, sometimes with the T2s, I seem to have an issue with using it on Evix airflow. I don't know why, but this has a lot better airflow. Honestly, better flavor than the T2. A lot better. Um, looks really nice on this device. Just looks like it was meant for it. Um, they go for about $5.99 on sunvapors.com's website. Uh, super fast shipping with them. Ordered it on Friday, received it today, which is Monday in the afternoon. It's about 2 o'clock here in Chicago. Uh, super fast shipping, super quick, super easy. $3, $2.99, I think, flat rate shipping or whatever it is. Um, 6 bucks for one of these, and you get the replacement coils on there also for $13.99 for a 5-pack, which isn't bad. Um, they don't have a lot of them. It is the Chinese New Year or whatever in China right now so as soon as they run out it's gonna be a while till they get some more in because they don't work over there in China on the new year they celebrate it for like two weeks at a time so if you are looking to get these get on them quick because they are selling fast and who knows when you really get your hands on them again overall this is a good clearizer this is Kangers done it again I mean I've liked Kangers since the beginning so they seem to be doing what they need to be doing you know but I will get back shortly with a view review of the EVOD from Kanger also. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you can. Um, and stay tuned for more stuff. Keep on vaping.